What's going on YouTube? Hair is all messed up from wearing a hat all the time. Is what it is. Uh, I was looking at the last video I did was that video about Tyson being a, a pain. I've been trying to do another one. I did one the following day. I did one earlier today. Might have even done one in the middle. Dud one. Done did whatever one uh, I don't know I've just kind of lost motivation I don't know what to say in these videos like ah I drove 400 so miles today saw the road so well there you go <laughs> you know like, if nothing goes on I don't really have anything to say uh, I am considering a hero uh, GoPro whatever uh, I need to look into those uh, I might find something cheaper, I don't know. I haven't looked into any of that. I might get one of those and get a laptop with some uh, editing capabilities and do, you know, time lapse and, and driving type stuff. Uh, you know, I don't know. Um, I might do that and look around while I'm home. I might look around, like run to Best Buy and uh, stores like that and see what's available, what's out there mess around with a little bit and then depending on price difference uh, order on Amazon and I get it the next time I came home which would be a month later give or take or a month and a half something like that uh, but yeah I'm here in uh, 22 miles north of Cleveland not Cleveland uh, Columbus headed to Kentucky it's start starting to sleet outside uh, I had no idea but I picked up my load. Oh, that was... So I picked up this load, right? A load of eggs from this farm. And there are four different, like, complexes for this thing. Or for the, for the same company. And I followed the GPS, which took me down some back country roads. Uh, which weren't restricted or whatever, I don't think. I didn't see any no truck signs. Um, but then I get on, after going straight instead of turning like I should have, uh, <clears throat> I ended up having to turn around in this little town. <laughs> that was crazy, but when I got on the right road, like the right road, not the wrong road, the right road down to where I needed to be, half of it was like five inches of snow, like no plow or anything had went through there. And like, the semis have to go up and down. So I, that just seemed fucking crazy, but you know, I drove slow, like fifth gear, I think. Fifth and sixth gear. I was staying, yeah, I was staying around like 15 miles an hour. A little lower, a little longer, you know, depending on the situation. So, you know, I kept it slow, and it wasn't a problem. I didn't really slide or anything. Even being empty, I was all right. Um, man. I can't really see it, but you might be able to hear it. Probably not, but it sounds like Pop Rocks. Uh... I deliver to a Walmart in London, Kentucky tomorrow at 6, I think. I forgot I was going to check that. Uh, 6.30. So, that's like five hours away. I don't know what's going on with this weather, but uh, if I leave at noon or so tomorrow, I'll be fine. Uh, I'll probably leave it like 11 because I gotta get fuel and I probably could go without fuel but I could go ahead and do it and fill up DEF and all that. Now I'll give me time to get something in. I don't need anything. But whatever. Uh, but yeah, I got to that Tyson plant again for the third time and I gave my paperwork to the, uh, to the guy and it was the woman that left that had loaded it earlier and this dude was pissed. <laughs> like, he was mad. And uh, I had talked to another driver, he drove for Maverick, if I remember correctly. Uh, when I got there, 
to get it adjusted the first time. Uh, he came up and asked me where to where the closest place to scale was. I told him it was an hour away down in up in Fort Smith, whatever. And that I was coming back because they loaded me heavy, and it's common for these guys to make sure you weigh it, and yada yada yada. And uh, you know that was that. And then he was still there when I came back. It's like two or three hours later when I pulled in. He was, you know, he had the curtains drawn or whatever. So I thought he was asleep. But I pull into the door, wait, and the guy, the anger guy, brings me back my paperwork. Uh, he's like, I guarantee you're not coming back. I'm not going to see you again tonight. And, because that guy actually knew what he was doing, which is nice. Uh, so, uh, I actually had to move my tandems up. Yeah, up. To take weight off of the nose. Yeah. Um, because he put too much on the nose. But too much there is fine because I can move the, the axles forward and, you know, and adjust it. When you have too much on the back, there's only so far, you know, back I can go. Um, so. But, uh, I pulled forward to shut the doors, put the seal on, and I saw that guy stop at the, uh, the other driver's truck. Apparently, <laughs> uh, the driver said something about uh, there was a guy here earlier that had to come back and, and get scale, or, uh, get adjusted and the, the, the shipper guy's like yeah that's, that's him right there he had to come back again and the dude's, the dude's jaw hit the floor he came up I started talking to him for a little while again I was like yeah I'm back back again but you know that's, that's it is what it is I had plenty of time on that load I dropped it off this morning um I was less than an hour away when I stopped last night at like two or something in the in the afternoon. Uh, I was able to get extra sleep, you know, sleep in a little bit the last two days. Um, so you know, it didn't really screw my load up. It was just a hassle and just ridiculous to have to drive back and forth. Um, but you know, uh, but yeah, man, yeah, I got that. Let me open it. These little side things, I forgot, this is a crappy one, I'll go to this side. These little side things are vents, so they don't have windows. Ooh, I broke it. I don't know if y'all can hear that. Uh, it sounds like it's coming on the other side, I'm retarded. Whatever. It sounds like Pop Rocks, just like I said. Um, but yeah, hopefully all this... Uh, ends tonight and melts. See, that's probably going to land and just ice up and just be a mess. So I guess it's good that I stopped rather than driving on this. Uh, I had to piss too, so I was able to get that out of the way. Um, but yeah, I'm going to sit here. I'll probably play Xbox for an hour or so out of boredom really. I don't want to hook it all up, but I've watched all my DVDs. I've bought a whole stack since I've been out here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine DVDs since I've been out here. Yes. <laughs> and that's not even including the two, uh, the first and second season of Arrested Development. I got those. Uh, but when I get home, I got two seasons of Workaholics already waiting for me. I got the newest season of uh, Always Sunny in Philadelphia ordered. Hopefully it's there. I got two Childish Gambino CDs coming in. Hopefully they're there and a pair of jeans, which I could probably live without. It would be nice to have them. So. Uh, you know, I'll have more entertaining stuff. And if I get a cheap little laptop, it'll have a uh, DVD player, which will be a lot easier than having to hook up. This the DVD player on this TV starts skipping after a while. And the disc is completely fine. Like, I'll put a brand new disc in, and it'll play for like an hour, and then slowly starts skipping. It sucks. So to actually watch it without that, I think I, I did watch like one full 
disc of Arrested Development and it didn't skip. Every other DVD I put in there has. I don't, Convoy might not have. Whatever, who cares? It's all rambling nonsense. Um, but to watch something without it skipping, I have to hook up the Xbox. Which means I gotta get up there in that cabinet and yank it all down with the wires and the power box thing with the Xbox. And then I gotta get the control and blah blah blah. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. It is what it is. Alright, whatever. <laughs> Just uh, trying to talk about something. Uh, if you guys have suggestions and stuff you want to talk about, that's fine. Uh, let me know. Give me something to ramble on about. Um, especially if I turn the camera on while I drive. Stuff like that. Give me something to talk about and think about as I drive. Um, but, you know, whatever. I don't care. Uh, yeah, nothing else. Ah, oh, this morning, man. I, uh, loaded, or unloaded the trailer, you know, or they unloaded the trailer. I was in door 51, receiving office was in door 20. I had to go back and forth like five times. Probably. I had to go in to the office, all the way down to the door to drop the paperwork off there back up to go out to go back to the truck to write the check for the lumper to take it back in to come back to the truck to go in to get the paperwork to go all the way down to the door to get the paperwork to go all the way back up and out from that's 30 doors so it's good exercise I'm not complaining about it I mean it was cold as crap it was sub-zero but uh, not Mortal Kombat but uh, you know sub-zero temperatures um, but stuff like that, I mean, when you sit in the truck all day, I'm happy to do it. I was trying to slide the tandems. I don't even think I got them right earlier when I just picked this load up, picked this new trailer up. Um, but getting in and out of the truck a thousand times because it doesn't lock or I need to count what hole it went to, blah, blah, blah. You know, rather than get all pissed off about it and aggravated, which will happen at some time depending on, you know, uh, what the day has what's happened in the day so far um, but I look at all that kind of stuff as exercise and that's really advice that I would give is to uh, think about that stuff especially if you're fat like me uh, you know don't get mad about having to get out and run around more because it's the only exercise you get out here really and I try to park towards the back of truck stops so I have to walk farther to go in and, and that kind of stuff uh, you know so food for thought Whatever. Oh, but what I what before I got into that whole deal, um, when I was leaving that place, you have to go out and like cut it back like a V or whatever to get out the the gate. So I was kind of at an angle, and I went back to shut my doors, and I could have walked around the right and walked all the way around the truck and then the nose and then get in, or I could have cut from the back right along the side and just jumped right in. There was like a couple inches between the truck and the curb. And then it went, it was snow, like everything up here is snow. The snow, like ice that had been shoveled up or, you know, when they plowed up, that's the word I'm looking for. So I was up at an angle like this. So I, genius me, decides to like try to walk on that which under that was just a sheet of ice that had been plowed up, melted, and then frozen. So I'm climbing up that and falling, and I ended up falling and jacking up my thumb and getting all soaked, and I, I'm sure plenty of truckers were laughing at me. I would have laughed at me. I did laugh at me. But man, <laughs> take, take the uh, long way. You don't always have to do the shortcut. That's word of advice number two for the day. Um, man, almost 15 minutes. I'm going to cut this off. Um, hopefully the weather's good where you are. Hopefully I get home soon. Like I said in the other videos, I think Saturday is my birthday, so I'm going to be home for that. Hopefully, give or take a day or two. Somewhere around there, the weekend, I'll be home uh, to see my family, some friends, 
get my drink on. Um, and yeah, so uh, just counting down the days for that, really. So Kentucky to who knows where next. But I'll drop this load off tomorrow with like six hours left on my clock, maybe. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if I got a overnight run or something like that and barely got any sleep or they woke me up earlier. I don't know. Who cares? Oh, a big video about nothing. I think that's what I'm going to title this. So, uh, y'all be safe, be blessed. Now it's coming down out here. Yeah, I got the heat blast and I'm going to have to kick it down because I'm going to start sweating. But, uh, yeah, man, that's, that's all I got for y'all. Too much of just talking nonsense. <laughs> Alright, later. When I push stop.